Cancer, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. All right, Cancer, been meditating on it, and your word for the day is resentment. Ooh, what decks do I want to use? You can pull out this one. Let's take a look, see. Bear in mind, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There's also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. You can only get a private reading with me if you go via my website. Okay. If I'm coming to you, I'm up in your DMs or I'm in the comments below. That's not me. That's somebody scamming you, pretending to be me. So don't fall for it. The only legit way of getting reading is to go to gentvtarot.com and book one. There's some rotters out there, aren't there? Anyway, Cancer. Resentment. What's this resentment all about for Cancer, please? Ooh, the three of swords. I just heard, I'm such a towery reader thing to say, I just heard it, this too shall pass. Oh my god, this is so tower reader. My mom says it. This too shall pass, my love. That's not what my mom talks like. Sorry, mom, that's not what she talks like at all. Um, so we've got the three of swords in reverse. So this, hold on, resentment. This is this is three of swords in reverse. Is it like your your heart's healing? You're finally letting letting the past. I wouldn't say let it go, but you're you're kind of healing from it. What it is, but these swords are still in here, so there's still some resentment. As much as you're healing, you're healing around the 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 thing that hurt you, and you're not sort of able to take those swords out so that you can fully heal so there's this resentment here this is going to take time this is the temperance here this is going to take time it just it just is the way that it is this is where i come in my loves so you've been through it you've been through it hard and it hurts and you've been in a really bad place but you're getting there but when you leave the swords in the heart like this there's only so much you can heal before it ends so you gotta take the swords out little by little this is you know self-healing this is therapy this is getting a nice reiki treatment having a massage meditating if you've got anxiety, doing things, you know, to help your anxiety. For me, Jesus, I took I took CBD for the first time. Oh my God, it was amazing. I felt like, you know when you're a teenager and your parents sort of do everything for you and you're like, yeah, everything's cool. I don't have anything to worry about. That's kind of how I felt after the first time I took CBD. And I was like, oh my God, I've been living with this crushing anxiety that I had no idea I had for years. And I, and I you know, felt like I could breathe for the first time. So I don't know if CBD is your thing doesn't get you high it's 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 great I don't do drugs at all ever so just so you know my body is a temple I have people asking me like in the comments like are you drunk no I'm just I'm just a complete and utter lunatic that's it. I'm high on life. I've met spiritual people that are way crazier than people on drugs. But it's like for real and it's spiritual. And we're like, woo, we can party. I can have fun at an insurance seminar. Just on me. I'm a Libra though. I'll flirt with anyone. Okay. So... Sorry, I, I, I get into a conversation like we're, we're just properly hanging out. 
This is what you need to know right now, Harry Priestess. This is where I'm going with this. So what you've been going through, this is now the beginning of your spiritual journey. You've healed as much as you can without help. You've done it. Mate, that's awesome. Well done. Pat you on the back for that. That's, that's brilliant that you've got this far. But you've got to start taking those swords out so you can heal the rest of the way. This is your spiritual journey. It's not fun, a spiritual journey, till you get to the part where you're healed. And it's like, yeah! That's where life can get so much better. So let's get there for you. We've got the High Priestess here for what you need to know right now. So this is where it begins. Your ascension, baby. Your Ten of Cups. It's happiness. You're on your journey to happiness. And... This is a really spiritual freaking journey. You want to hear a fan here. The God, the sun. I sort of feel with the sun being here is it's in reverse. So this is the part of the journey towards your happiness. Any, any sadness or depression or negative feelings or emotions that you have right now, they're temporary. So you're your beginning. This is this is great. So you're holding on to something. Something that you know you're you're resentful of from your past. You know, some of the some of the hardest things I've had to do is forgive people for the wrongs that they've done me. Because, you know, I mean we all have our we all have our uh, stories but you know I've had some wrongs done to me and sometimes during meditations it comes to me and I'm like I think about the thing that happened and I sort of allow the thought to happen and I let it go and then carry on the meditation and afterwards I'm like okay we need to sort of think about that and let it go and move on from it and forgive that person no matter how bad it was. And uh, I've thought the, the issue through and I've let it go and I've meant it. And I've never, I've never said to these people, I forgive you. I mean, some of them I have, but it's me forgiving them. It's not for them, it's for me. And it's me letting it go, so I'm not poisoning myself with the venom that I've felt. I've let it go. And it's it's been like putting down a really heavy bag. And you feel springy and light again. So what are you holding on to? Time to forgive somebody for the wrongs that they did. What's coming up in the near future for you? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you, like, spiritual awakening is It's very hard and there's a lot that's coming up for you with like uh, shame, self-shame and, and just, just not ha having confidence in yourself the way you look physically, the way you feel about yourself and, and I'm sort of hearing like you thinking to yourself all the problems that have happened into you in your life like that common de denominator was you so maybe it's you that's the one with the problem that's not the case and you can have to let that go and maybe one of the people you have to forgive is yourself and that's probably one of the harder people to forgive
something that was coming to me is like, I, had, I actually had a really good proper cry. Like a really good wail. Have you? Because I have to say, I didn't cry about my husband dying until last year. And that sounds terrible, but I just couldn't. I just couldn't. I couldn't cry at all. And then I had a conversation with his best friend on the phone and we both bawled, just wept. Like, Wah! I was ugly crying, there was snot. And it was the first time I really, truly, I mean, I was, I, I'm sh I, I don't know how my neighbors didn't call the police because I was just, wah! And oh my God, how I felt afterwards. It was just so different. I, I needed to, get that emotion out and I hadn't realized you know I, I was just like well maybe I'm just been strong you know I wasn't it was I I just I needed to release it and I let the pain go and it was great sometimes you know good to be vulnerable with somebody else and say this is how I feel I kind of feel like you need to have a blooming good cry, like properly letting it out, ugly cry, just like big puffy red face afterwards, snort bubbles. You got. I, I feel like you gotta gotta have a really good one, but you can't just like, oh, all right, I'll I'll let's do this. It's kind of gotta be at the right time, right? I hear you. That's kind of what's coming up in the near future is you releasing a lot of your demons. Like, I, I, I see that that's, it's not going to be a fun experience for you, but it is going to be enlightening and from what it looks like, you're just now on an upward journey. Things are going to start getting better. But forgiveness is the key here. Where's, let's have a look at the Knight of Swords here. This is, um, Best you can hope for, really. It's action, moving forwards, things, things happening for you. There are obstacles. There is uh, can't think of the word. Hang on. It's on the tip of my tongue. It's like emotional insecurity. That's you know. I've been on this journey for a long time. I've still got that. I'm going on a date tomorrow. What the hell am I going to wear? Any ideas? Let me know in the comments below. Boobs or legs? Boobs or legs? What do you think? Can't, no, I can't do both at my age. You've got to choose one. A little bit of cheeky shoulder. Alluring. Ankle, I hear you say. I like your thinking. Ooh, cheeky ankle there. Oh, very nice ankles. Anyway, back to you, back to you. There's a little bit of emotional insecurity. This is some of the ob obstacles that you have to get past, but you are. You're gonna get past it. You're gonna do this. You're gonna nail this. Oops, dropping him. Let's take a look at you. I'm just hearing you say I don't really want to build anything with someone else right now. I kind of want to move forwards on my own. You want to focus on your career. On building a home. 
uh, a safe home environment is what I'm kind of hearing. You want to set boundaries and, and I think at the moment you're not entirely sure what your boundaries need to be and that's something you, you know you need to work on it you need to figure out who you are right now. I think this is a time for you to be on your own and, and figure yourself out and, and you know make a safe stable home environment for yourself and these boundaries are, are important. I think you need to figure out what they are for you. Someone else in the future? I don't really see someone in your reading. Okay, let's have a look though. Well, that's just the thing. I, I don't see someone else at all, which is like, we're going to have to sort of think about how we're going to do an extended for you here. Um, this is a singles reading. This is you kind of letting go of the past and, and um, resentment, forgiveness, and someone else. No, I, I think that you, you're going to find your own inner strength. I think anyone else coming into your life right now could possibly take that away from you. And you get into an unhealthy pattern with someone else and I don't think you really need that. The outcome here, we've got the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me more. It's sort of slow progress, or no progress in a way. You sort of start letting go of what's holding you back. That's the resentment. It's all just an illusion in the past, isn't it? You know, you gotta live in the now, what's happening right now. And we're just hanging out right now. This is cool, this is fun, this is great. 10 minutes ago, it was already gone, so it doesn't exist anymore. 10 years ago, same thing, mate. Yeah, it hurt. It completely destroyed you at the time. Now you gotta heal from it, because this is now. Listen to Eckhart Tolle, Tolle, Tolle. I don't know, freaking the power now anyway. Listen to it. I listened to it as an audiobook before before uh, going to bed. People say I, I got toll, but people also say I got tolle. So I'm like, I don't know, I don't know what it is. Freaking, I've heard both, both versions. I don't freaking know. I'd say toll myself, but that's because my mom's German. Let's take this into extended in a sec. I'm gonna pull some some um oracle cards for you, but it sort of just looks like well, we've got the death here, and that's just like releasing the past, letting it go, it's done, it's dead and buried. The sun's rising, it's the start of a new day, it's a new you. So let's do this, let's go for it. Letting go of resentment and healing those inner wounds. It's not going to be a fun journey, but I'm here if you need me. I'm going to take it into extended. Um, I'm going to ask advice from the universe for you. I'm going to ask, you know, generally kind of how long you're going to be on this crazy healing journey that's, that's you know, it's going to be a bit like this. And when are you going to meet somebody new, romantically? But advice from the universe, I think, is the most important. So let's pull you some oracle cards. Oh, well, there you go. A new romantic cycle begins. Well, I will, I will ask when. It sort of looks like you're going to be on your own for a while. Oh, this card slipped off, interestingly. You know, if you ever put the card down, the card goes, Ooh. yeah, let's have a look. You and your loved ones are safe. That's good to know. I think somebody needed to hear that. And your love lyric for the day is... 
cool I could do with a snack. You think it's a phase, but it's all gonna happen to you. It's Double Life by the Cars. I love that song. When it kicks in, it's like, oh yeah. It's one of, one of my favorite tunes of all time. Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And if you want to watch the extended, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. See you later.